What's up guys, this is gonna be my pickups video of the games that I got while I was in Texas and around that time. Um, there were a lot of stores in Texas, however, it was very challenging to find certain games that I was looking for. So I'm gonna show you the ones that I was able to pick up in Texas and then I'm gonna show you ones that I picked up when I got back because these were games that were on my list. So I just wanted to get them either in Texas or um, other means. The first one's gonna be uh, Raven Rabbids. All right, this is one of my, uh, this one has my wife's name written all over it. She uh, She's a big fan of the Wii stuff. She loves playing Wii. So she likes to, what is this, Raven Rabbit or the Raven Rabbit? There we go. So she likes this game a lot. We picked it up. It's no big deal. It's a game that I had of the collection and one for her to play, which I guess is cool. All right, second one is NCAA 2005. Um, I have a big affinity towards uh, old football games especially of this era from like Madden 06 to like 07, 08. But I also enjoyed the college games as well. Um, this one's a great game just to add to the collection. GameCube was not necessarily on my priority uh, in this little trip and this little uh, game acquisitions that I was looking for. But that one, that one is always a cool game to kind of just have for the collection, especially if you're a big fan of just kind of college football. All right, so Dreamcast, I went and picked up a VMU. Um, an actual one with the screen. And yeah, if you guys remember the Dreamcast unboxing video that I got, um, it came with a VMU, but it was missing the screen. This one actually has a screen. I was able to get it for a really good deal at one of the stores there in Texas. And um, the battery on this one is drained, but you can get them in bulk at Home Depot for about $7. And yeah, if you guys don't know, the screen fu functions as like a mini mini portable screen there. You could play mini games on it as well. It's, you could take it on the go. So, but it also works as a regular memory card as well. So it still works even though the battery is drained so long as it's connected to the controller. But if you want it to work without the controller, then you need the little batteries. But I could, you open up this, you unscrew this right here and you get, you can put in the new battery and then you're good to go. All right, and this is the last game I was able to find in Texas. This one is Sega Rally for the Sega Dreamcast. Um, this was one of the racing games that I was looking for. Ideally, I wanted Hydro Thunder and I'll still try to eventually get it, but I saw Sega Rally there at the store. And uh, still have the receipt here. I still, I, I found Sega Rally there. It was at a good price and I was happy to acquire it. And this was a really good game. I've already played it a couple times. Uh, it's a great racer. Love the arcade style of it. And this was a great acquisition. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go over the games that I was able to get online. Um, something that I did notice as I was going through these stores. Now, I don't know if it's just a personal experience, but I did notice an interesting pattern um, that the games that I was looking for were actually cheaper through eBay and online than the actual stores. Um, I don't know if it's a recent thing, if it's like a trending pattern, but I did find that interesting. Ideally, I wanted to find these games at the stores because I figured they would be cheaper, but the issue really was that they either didn't have them or the ones that they did have were severely overpriced. And there was, I don't want to call any stores out, but there was one particular store that had a certain game for a really expensive price compared to eBay that I just kind of had to go with the eBay option. So the first one I'm gonna go with is Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I am very excited to have this one in the collection. For those of you that know, this is one of the, the gems of the Dreamcast collection. It's a great fighter with Capcom characters and Marvel superheroes in a fighting game. This is one of the games that I actually saw in Texas. It was in one of the game stores. I saw it on the last day there, but they actually had it for uh, bit more of an expensive price than I ended up getting it for. So I'm happy with the price that I got it for compared to the one I saw at the game store. All right, so now we're gonna open up this box that I got. Um, I'm gonna open this up right now. We're actually recording this during a hurricane. Hurricane, what is the name of it called? Ian. Hurricane Ian, yeah. So I was actually surprised when this package came in today. But yeah, it's all the way from Japan and we're gonna open this up. box this is kind of how it looks like for now now 
Now the guy who sold me this was a really nice man. Oh, he even sent me a nice photo of himself here <laughs> with a letter. That's cute. It says, hi Richard, my name is Danny Cho. Thank you for your purchase. You are my 65th customer on eBay. I am so excited. I will continuously list more and more Japanese items to my eBay store. So if you want anything from Japan, please contact me anytime. All right, cool. So yeah, Danny Cho, really awesome guy. Very well informed. I'll see if I could drop a link to his store on eBay because he has a lot of stuff there for sale. Wrapped it up very nicely. Some games here as well. I got two exactly. What? Oh, yeah. Newspaper from Japan. How about that? All right, so I got some games here. I'll open these later. Let's just look at the piece. Don't resist on here. Here it is. The Sega Arcade Stick. It looks really good. No scratches. No yellowing. What's the bottom? The bottom looks great. Usually the bottoms are scratched up. Nice clicky arcade. And look, cool thing is that it has a slot and you can put the VMU in here. Pull it out. Like so. So this is the Sega Dreamcast arcade stick. I will post B-roll of me playing it, testing it out. But I am excited to play some Marvel vs. Capcom on this thing. The last thing here is the two games that I got. A little pro tip for you guys. Some of the Dreamcast games from America tend to be a little expensive. And sometimes a good alternative is to go, the, is to go through, through Japan and getting the same versions from Japan for a fraction of the cost that you would pay here in America. And I did just that with two games. The first one is Power Stone 2. This is a great game. It is a 3D fighter, 3D arena fighter. It is a great arcade game. And one of the cool things about these, it comes with all the inserts, wow. You have all your inserts here. All in Japanese too, which is great. Beautiful little cutaway. Oh, these are little sleeves for the for the for the CD for the CD case, and then you have your little manual here and how it works. Oh yeah, one of the cool things about these games, the arcade games from Sega were ports from the Naomi arcade games. So what you could do is you can get the VMU, and if you I guess lived in Japan or if you lived to an arcade, you could take this VMU, connect it to the Naomi arcade, and transfer your save data from the game to the arcade. And you could play that data in the arcade. And if, say, you unlock a character or something, you could transfer that same data back to the VMU and put it back into your Dreamcast, and you would have all the progress from there as well. So that's really cool what they would do with that. They had a way to connect their arcade stuff with their console stuff. And all the Naomi ports did that, which is great. Great. And then the last one, personal favorite of mine. Street Fighter Alpha 3. Or in Japan, they has a different name. It is called uh, Street Fighter Street Fighter Zero 3. It's back. So yeah, you could do the same thing with this game. You could put your data on the VMU, put it on the arcade cabinet, and do the same thing likewise. So the games all found a way to connect, and that's always a pretty neat feature. All right, guys, so this was my pickup stuff. Uh, overall, I'm very happy with what I was able to, to get. Um, ideally, I would have loved to have gotten all this in Texas because there were tons of game stores, but unfortunately, um, Dreamcast stuff is hard to find. And then sometimes when you do find it, the price is sent to be a little higher than you would like. So I was actually able to find the cheaper alternatives. And a big shout out to Danny Cho here, right here. I'll drop, I'll find a way to put his eBay store profile in the description so you guys can check him out. He was really nice, man. He shipped the stuff from Japan. It got here really, really fast. I was actually very, 
uh, shocked at how fast it got here. He was great, very communicative person, and he was very honest. He sent me videos of the stuff, making sure it worked. So he, he's one of the he's one of the good sellers, one of the best ones I've actually found on eBay. So big shout out, Danny Cho. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll be posting videos on this stuff soon. So thank you guys. Take care.